It is day 538. I filmed myself for no reason. It's the last working day of the week, and then tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday. I don't know why I said it in a lower voice, but that's just to make, give it the importance, the dramatics it needs. So I bet today it's going to drag. A lot of the lads are coming up from Manchester and Bolton. They're going to come up and we're going to go out into the big wide world and enjoy Geordie Land to its absolute maximum. Uh, that means at some point, even today or tomorrow, I'm going to have to clear off my sofa because I'm going to smuggle one of the boys in. I like that. Smuggle one of the boys in. Get him on the old sofa after a heavy night of the Schweppes. Um, that's tomorrow though. Today I just got to go to work last day. Uh, I'm a bit hungry, a bit peckish. Nothing really exciting happened yesterday. I mean, uh, the guy I was apprehensive about teaching is actually a good lad. A really good lad. He knows what he's doing. He knows the words. and got the lingo. He's got the confidence. That's what he needs. That job needs confidence. Something I'm only slowly getting myself at doing that job. He's just like, yeah, I told driver just to... Uh... And I'm like, yes, that's the attitude this job needs. Right, I'm going to have to order my breakfast now. Ooh, what do I have? Do I, do I have what crazy meal can I have? <laughs> I've not ordered, ordered just Mackey's yet. That could be on the cards. I don't know. I'm going to look at the menu now. The menu. How snobbish am I? Uber Eats is just a menu for me. Bring me the food as I am King Fat Man. <laughs> chubby Funster. Absolute Chubby Funster. I tried to order this stuff the other day. It's a Parmesan. It's like a par they call it a Parmo. But it's meant to be the Geordie meal of the day. So I'm trying to get what we do all of these, but every time I do it, it just goes, no, you can't have. So, mm, I want to try Parmo. Bit of a weird one, I've, I've settled for a place called the Big Ban. Big Pan, there's a H just added in the word ban for some reason. Uh, Vietnamese restaurant that does American foods with a Vietnamese uh, sprinkle. So I've ordered a Sloppy Joe with lemongrass and Spices that you'd get in Vietnam, so yeah. and it was two for one, so I've got two of them, two for one on the big dirty sandwich. What am I gonna do with this? Eat it, and eat the second sandwich. That's what I'm gonna do. Not two. The sandwiches won't be here for a while. I'm gonna go downstairs anyway, listen to music like I do every day. But it's full of drunk heads, heads. They're drunk, they're unruly, they're around. I bet you, out there, out there. Going out here waiting for my sandwich. A hobby of mine, two nine inch sandwiches, 18 inches of sandwich. I sit down with me nice soda water with lemon, only to realize mm, that's a sweet, sweet taste of leaving my hotel car key in my room. I'm gonna go and have to go and sort that out now. The key card of shame. This is the second key card of shame I've been given. Uh oh, is he here? Is he here? The big man's here himself. I've already forgot what I've ordered. <laughs> but why would they do two for one on sandwiches? Were well, they expecting me to quit coming back? Oh, that was a sandwich. I enjoyed that. Better go back for another sandwich. I've already got two. Sandwich. Why? Why would they do two for one on sandwiches? I don't get it. It's the same sandwich. You can't have two different sandwiches. You can't sample the delights of the sandwich world. Well, eh? You will have the same one over and over again. Oops, I don't need to film this bit once. Oh, it's an, it's an Asda baguette. That looks nothing like the picture. But it smells really nice. It looks really nice. And if I do enjoy it, I get to enjoy it all over again because I got two of them. Because one was free. Why? Mmm, <laughs> very nice. Mm. It's the American style with the Vietnamese flavour. Right, it is time to make my pilgrimage to Costa Coffee. Alright, over the bridge. We all love the bridge. We'll miss the bridge when the bridge isn't there. Pilgrimage. Pilgrim bridge. The keen die amongst you. Amongst you? But I've noticed I'm now wearing a hoodie. I get downstairs in my t-shirt, I go outside, it's raining. I'm like, oh. Can't, can't miss a coffee though. Can't miss a coffee. Gotta go. Gotta go. Back inside, back, put me on, come back inside. Born dry. <laughs> I think it's, it's too late now, I'm wearing, a, I'm, wearing my hoodie. I'm wearing my Amazon hoodie. I'm like a nerd. Too late now. I'm going to get my coffee. Job done. Thirsty, thirsty boy. Oh, can you guess where I am? Can you guess? Oh, that's right. On a bridge. Dodging a bullet on that bridge today. Everyone's asking, everyone else to take pictures of each other. 
I'm only interested in taking video of myself, guys, all right? So I know you want to have a loving embrace, kissing and cuddle in front of the time bridge. But, mate, I'm on the bounce. It's out for coffee. I haven't got time for you people I don't really know at all. Strangers, get back. Up the hill again. I'm going to go up the hill and get it to Costa. Yeah, I got my coffee and it's uh, absolutely ramo here. A bit more chill down towards the hotel now. It's a bit more uh, no people. But uh, tonight's looking like a mad one and I'm at work. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get camera jealous here. That's some well better gear than me. It's a well better gimbal than me. Stomp, stomp, stomp. City Centre was Ramo. Back in the hotel because I've got to go to work. Yes, it, tonight looks like it'd be a great time for a party. So if any of you are on your way up or here now, because I put this video out later on, you're going to have a cracking time, right? Big crowds, big numbers. Everyone's got these out. Even if they've got a bad, put them away. I don't, I'm not interested. i got to go and go, go to work and do work-related things. So now I'm going to do Duolingo and then I'm probably going to freshen up and I'm head off. This is the ultimate proof you live in a hotel. This is how I'm drying my t-shirt because it got a bit sweaty and I can I can't clean that many clothes a week. So I have to well, I have to wear this and I got a bit sweaty, I just gonna dry it off on a cool fan. Did this a couple of weeks ago, worked wonders. Alright, might bring this home, bring this talent home. Right, I'm going to work now, but me and my neighbour are very dirty girls. We'll just leave our junk outside the door. They did it first and I thought I'd just join in after. Didn't make an outro for my video until quarter past two on Sunday morning. Uh, the last seven hours or so of work have been all right. I'm not, uh, not as excited as I was at the start of shift, but yeah, end of the video anyway. Bye.